yourself up to him. Amen. Amen. There is a word in the book of Genesis chapter 37. A familiar passage of scripture we all know. Now I'm going to be about 30 minute preachers. As this new pastor here, I'm going to be about 30 minutes. Take your time, brother. Y'all be along with me. I don't know if it's your custom to stand, but since I'm here, it will be. Can we stand? At least let's stand for the word. And then touch your neighbor and then you can go back to sleep. You won't bother. Me. Can we agree on that? That you'll stand up for the word, then you go back to sleep. I won't bother you no more. Amen. <laughs> Just before we read the word to all of these preachers again and their family, and to the deacon ministry of Mount Carey, God bless you all of these wonderful deacons. Amen. Thank God. Give, give, give these deacons an amen. 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 Thank God um, for you, the mothers, the missionaries. We thank God for all of you that's here on today. Amen. Genesis 37. I want to look at verse 3 down to verse 5 and verse 18 down to verse 20. I want to try to set the page for which God wants us to be. And it says, verse 3 of Genesis 37 says, Now Israel loved Joseph more than all his children because he was the son of his old age. And he made him a coat of many colors and when his brethren saw that their father loved him more than all his brethren, they, I know you don't like to say that word because that's what we do. They hated him and could not speak peacefully unto him. I'll go ahead and give you one little point real quick and I'm going to read the rest of the scripture. Mount Cabin, get ready because folks are funny. When you didn't have a pastor, they said y'all to get one. And as we grow together and show them that we know how to be a team, they're going to start talking out saying, y'all think you're something. And you know what we're going to say? Show you right. Show you right. And when his brother saw that his father loved him over his four, you know, his brother.